Smith and Mike Lee. And Mark, uh, I want to get your thoughts on this Netflix and the wider implications of, of the carnage in this stock. You know, I'm looking right now <laughs> and any stock, not just content providers. You are, you are known, you're known for being bullish, but more recently you have gotten more cautious. Uh, you know, looking at Netflix, looking at bifurcation in the market, where are you now? Yeah, well, uh, some of these stocks that are priced to perfection, uh, that have massive expectations, uh, one wrong step and then boom. Uh, so this, th this is not the first one we've seen. The other one we saw was Facebook. Uh, couldn't really handle the iOS uh, platform change uh, in, in their software, not allowing to track people across their cell phones. Could not weather that storm. That stock got crushed. I don't think it really has a massive uh, implication across all, all the markets and that. Uh, but on an overall standpoint, I'd say I'm cautious. Not really bullish, not really right. bearish. But you know, inflation, it's still not under control. Okay, We don't know how high interest rates are going. If they have peaked and inflation is under control, that's a little bit more bullish. Um, but what I would say is it is the things that I'm cautious about and I'm nervous about, that's the bare argument for the market. And there's tons of much smarter people than me that run tens, if not hundreds of billions of dollars that haven't collapsed this market. So I think that we're still at this level. Well, and the fact that the labor market is still on fire uh, gives, gives a good bear case, which kind of puts us in the middle. And then so I'm just going to own defensives. So, so can this break the tie then, uh, this hearty earnings season? Because outside of Netflix, I mean, Today, you have Procter & Gamble, IBM, uh, uh, and a whole lot of other names. The banks have done extraordinarily well. Uh, are you making any adjustments in your portfolio based just on good old-fashioned earnings and guidance? Uh, no. Um, I think uh, expectations are low. I think you're, you're not going to get as, as rosy a guidance. I think companies uh, can sandbag easily. Uh, what I'm looking at going forward are these inflation numbers on the core CPI month over month. Has that decelerated or is it still accelerating? Because if it's still accelerating in this part of the cycle, um, then the Fed's going to have to get even more aggressive and the chances of a right. soft landing diminish. But but if, if it does temper, so last month's core month over month reading was only three tenths of one percent. If we're staying at that level, that means the Fed may actually get this right, and interest rates might not have to skyrocket, right. collapsing all sorts of multiples, taking us into a recession. So that's what I'm focused on, and I think that's the question at the moment. All right, so Mike, uh, I do have some other questions at the moment. <laughs> First, let me get your assessment of earnings.